Hello, hello YouTube, Tristan Taylor here. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in, what's underneath a cylinder head on an overhead valve engine. First, let's take the engine out. I got you. Oop, look out! Look out! Look out! So, get our tools. So first we're going to start with taking off this exhaust here, the muffler, off of its manifold. So, get it. Find a wrench that fits that. It's this one. Hey, uh, my friend is here. What's up? <laughs> you right, you remember her from the steel wool burning video? So just keep our bolts right there. Nice. Go follow your Instagram page. Okay, now that's our muffler there. I think there's something in there. So yeah, you can see the valves in there. Of course, it's covered in crack in there. There's actually not a lot of carbon in there, right? So next, the uh, rocker cover bolts because these here, these here, the so you have these two, these two nuts here are are holding the head on, and then the next the next nuts for the to remove the head are under here. So we can start by removing the ratchet. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Our socket. So first we want we want to remove this first so we can get to our uh, our valves. You can still be able to see the valve under there. So I suck it. Put it in there. So other, there other sockets. Nope. What happened to all these sockets? Somebody stole a screw off my head, off the rocker cover. The fuck? Oh. Yeah. It's supposed to be four one bolts. And so, this is your um, rocker cover gasket. <coughs> this goes over it just like that. And then smell the oil. So, those are your valves. So, our valve cover is off. So, these are your valves that open up. So, like, this is your exhaust valve. This is your intake valve because it's on the intake side of the head. Now, you can see that bolt there and that bolt there. Those are the next last two head bolts. <coughs> now, you need to get this off in order to get the head off. So, you need to get and then get in there. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted for the music. Something you, is, 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 you're not going to get copyrighted. Still, still. Yeah, just be being careful. <clears throat> Thirty is time of the year. Not sponsored. 
This video is not sponsored by Sprite. You also have to remove this oh, last this last bolt right? here. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, she's got it. Okay, so yep, so this this, this this so this here so this hold this has the carburetor on it. So this holds the carburetor to like the, to the block. So I'm gonna. Uh, I need some mm -hmm. fucking mac and cheese. And, and no, no one, one can, can stop, stop me. me. Okay. So once that bolt is off, you can proceed what, to. What you can proceed to um, get get to these bolts here. So now we can start getting to these bolts. So now, enough Ryan. <clears throat> and if you need to, use it, of course, you can use the socket. Yeah, sockets. Yeah. Two-handed job. But guys, yeah? I'm trying to record this, and then I'm gonna probably get copyrighted. I know it's not gonna get copyrighted. How do you know? Well, because I've had videos get copyrighted before that wasn't super popular. I've only gotten a few I've, I've watched videos with All Star and haven't gotten copyrighted. Alright, whatever. Just stop. Just stop, please. Okay. Now, that's, that, that head bolt is loose. Can continue to take it off. This bolt here is loose now. They're pretty long too, so yeah. If it if it seems like it's if you've been screwing it for a while, that's why. So so that's one head bolt. That's what they look like. Of course, this is your valve blast adjustment, so you, it's like how, like, valve opening and whatnot. But, I like I'll show you Of course, the little rods there, those are your push rods that, that run on the cam that, that, that make the valve go da 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 You also want to remove this one to kind of set where you can get these out of get this thing out of the way here. So uh, you can use let's see depending on the size of it. So once this is off, you may have access to this head bolt as well. Now an easy trick for when, uh, if you don't want to keep turning the socket, you can't turn it by hand. Put a screwdriver inside the little socket thing there, inside the end of the socket there. And then you can um, loosen it by, by hand once it's been cracked loose. You see here? This is now ready to come off. Now we have, so this is our valve, so now, let's see, so we got a 
installers in this one. More. You can start to see the cylinder head, the block, and the gasket there. Whoa. Not too bad, eh? Hey, hey. Head bolts off. You can proceed to pull off the head. Now, okay, the head is our gasket. These are our. These are our. Um, so, these are your push rods here. These go into those holes there, and they push on the on these. These things right here, these little, they look like little divots to kind of keep them, keep the, um, to keep the rod in there from like sliding around and stuff. And of course, here's the big guns here, your piston. This is, of course, here this is the, um, the holes where the push rods go down into. Right here, and then they, then they basically put da 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 Wow. So that moves up and down. You can see if I put this there, you can kind of see. You can see it kind of push it up and down. So now, these are our valves here. These are our valves. It's your exhaust. This is your intake. There's the spark plug. And you can see, if when I push down on the valve, it opens. So now, yeah. Basically, the basic system. So, yeah. There's your oil right there. So, yeah, and there's your that's an oil that, that shoots the oil up into the um, up into the head, so that you can get oil to the valves. So, yeah, you also have an oil thing down there. Of course, this keeps you from putting the head on upside down. If I don't know how you would do that, but yeah. Now to put it all back together. So now we'll take our socket there, put it back on the uh, bolt, I'm going to put it, now we're going to do it in a diagonal pattern, so, now, putting the head back on, we got to put our gasket on, here Rachel, come on the side there, so, putting our gasket back on, because we want to have a seal so we're not leaking air and fuel everywhere, so that, once this goes back on, now we're going to do this in a diagonal pattern so we'll be tighten it down evenly. This is, again, this is an easy way to, um, to tighten the bolts down by hand. We'll take our next head bolt, just like so here, and we'll take it and we'll put it there. You can see they're quite long. Can I zoom in here? Yeah. Yeah, they're quite, they're quite long. Then this, here. So we've got the head bolts back on, and now we're going to tighten them down. And this there. to put the, uh, the, uh, lift, the uh, push rods back in. So put them right back in there. So this guy right back over the valve. If you need to, you can push down on the valve and then put this in there like that. Like that. Same thing with the other one.
and voila. Now when we pull the cord, we'll be able to see. Okay. You see the movie? Take our record cover, put it back on. Now it doesn't matter what order you put them in by hand, it ma what matters is what um, order you tighten them in, when, what order you um, uh, use when you tighten them. So you want to go this one, this one, this one, this one. You want to do it diagonally. So that way it's, uh, it's even. You only um, tighten down. Hey, uh, Rocker covers back on. Let's move uh, this stuff out of the way. We're gonna run it without the muffler on it. It's gonna be pretty loud. Okay, we're gonna run it now. Uh, on, on, chokes on. Okay, so connect the spark plug. Okay. Okay. Right Pump it. That's loud. <laughs> Somebody bring home a Harley Davidson? That was loud. But except when you take the muffler off and it's just running straight out of the head. <laughs> That's what the exhaust back on. Like that. Power bolts and nuts. Of course, since there since there's only two, you can go either. That hand tighten them and they go this one, this one, or this one, this one. But you basically, you want to do it evenly. You tighten this one, then you tighten that one a little bit, then you tighten this one a little bit, that one a little bit, and so on and so on, so on back and forth. But yeah. I also put the engine on this thing that I made where I, I bolted some wheels on the bottom of it. So, okay. My car is back on. Huh? Well, let's run it again.
yeah, that's what's in the uh, on the engine and cylinder piston cylinder head is uh, overhead valve engine anyways. No, not probably the box already had. This is like warm box already had, but that's where all the combustion occurs anyway. But so yeah. The next lot Yeah, I Linda. Till next time. Um remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.